he steps up. Dead even. And a ground ball back at the middle. And there it is. He's a new all-time hit king in Major League history. Number two, five, eight. My, oh my. In 2025, Ichiro Suzuki will be eligible for the Hall of Fame. And as one of the all-time greats, he will likely receive enough votes on the first ballot to achieve baseball immortality. Ichiro is well known for his role as a trailblazer, being the first Japanese-born position player to play in Major League Baseball. Number 51 exploded onto the scene when he joined the Seattle Mariners in 2001. In his rookie season, Ichiro put up monstrous numbers, racking up 242 hits to contribute to his 350 batting average. He became the second player ever to win both Rookie of the Year and Most Valuable Player awards in the same season. And Ichiro was the best player on the best team, a team that matched the all-time single-season win record with 116 wins. Ichiro Suzuki's impressive professional baseball career spanned across nearly three decades, officially playing in 28 seasons until his retirement in 2019. But his professional career followed a much different path than most. Let's look back at the beginnings of his baseball journey. For context, baseball has historically been Japan's most popular sport. Even from the high school level, baseball leagues are competitive. Japan's pro league, Nippon Professional Baseball, was founded in 1936 and has produced high-level ballplayers. In the five World Baseball Classic tournaments, Japan has won three championships. Long story short, baseball is a big deal in Japan. Ichiro has always stood out for his distinctive technique and preparation, but his commitment to baseball started at an early age. His father, Nobuyuki Suzuki, gifted his son his first glove as a toddler, and by age seven, the two had established a dedicated daily training routine, including a 50-pitch bullpen, 200 live swings, taking infield, outfield, and adding more work a few times a week at a local batting cage. At the high school level, Ichiro completely dominated. He batted 502 during his high school career. Following high school, moving into Japan's pro draft, teams were concerned with Ichiro's size. At that time, he was 5'9 and just 120 pounds. Suzuki was drafted in the final round of the NPB draft to the Oryx Blue Wave. In 1992, the 18-year-old began his professional baseball career. Oryx's manager at the time had some concerns with Ichiro's unorthodox style of play and small stature, leading Ichiro to spend his first two years moving up and down the Blue Wave farm system. In 1994, with a new manager, Ichiro became a full-time player at the age of 20, and he instantly became a star in Japan. In his first full season, he hit a league-leading 385 and set the single-season record for hits with 210 hits in 130 games. In 1994, his first full season, Ichiro won the first of three consecutive MVP awards. Over the next seven seasons, Ichiro went on to lead the Japan Pacific League in batting six times, averaging a remarkable 359 for those campaigns. He also accumulated numerous accolades during his tenure with the Blue Wave, including three MVP trophies in the 1996 Japanese Championship. Additionally, he won seven straight gold gloves and made seven consecutive all-star teams. Ichiro was a superstar in Japan and garnered the attention of the Seattle Mariners scouts. But bringing someone like Ichiro to the MLB was unfamiliar territory. Several Japanese-born players had successfully made the transition to the MLB, like Hideo Nomo. In one season before Ichiro's arrival, the Mariners signed closer Kazuhiro Sasaki from the Yokohama Bay Stars. He won the AL Rookie of the Year in 2000. But at that point, no native Japanese position player had ever played Major League Baseball, other than a few players born in Japan to American servicemen. In the lead-up to Ichiro's arrival in the U.S., there were also some concerns about how Ichiro's skills would translate to MLB baseball. Though dominant, his skills and style were unorthodox. His seemingly exaggerated movements, slap-style swing and big leg kick was something new to the Mariners' front office. In 1999, two years prior to Ichiro's free agency, Oryx came to an agreement with Seattle. 
which enabled a few players from the Japan team to join the Mariners in Peoria and participate in spring training. It was there that Ichiro would share the field with Mariner greats like Ken Griffey Jr. and Alex Rodriguez. It was there that the front office would get a closer look at Ichiro and be further convinced of his potential in the MLB. After the 2000 season, the Mariners and Ichiro agreed on a three-year contract worth around $14 million. There was an immediate buzz in Seattle about the new Japanese leadoff hitter, and Ichiro wasted no time proving himself. On opening day against the A's, he recorded two hits in his debut, but it was a couple weeks later on April 11, 2001, playing Oakland again, where Ichiro would have his first signature highlight. With a three-run lead in the bottom of the eighth, Ichiro demonstrated his powerful arm when A's runner Terrence Long tried to advance from first to third on a base hit to right field. Ground ball, base hit in the right field. Heading for third is Terrence Long. The throw by Ichiro. Beautiful. Peggy got him. Holy smoke, a laser beam strike from Ichiro. Ichiro Suzuki's arrival in Major League Baseball was nothing short of remarkable. He not only became the first Japanese-born position player to make the majors, but he also filled the celebrity void left by some of Seattle's most beloved players, including Alex Rodriguez, Ken Griffey Jr., and Randy Johnson. But Ichiro did more than just fill the shoes of these greats. He took the league by storm and catapulted a team that was projected to finish third in the division to an astounding 116 wins and a place in MLB history. In his debut season, the 27-year-old proved all skeptics wrong. His remarkable defensive skills, speed, and arm earned him the coveted Gold Glove Award in right field, but it was his unconventional approach at the plate that truly set him apart. From his on-deck stretches to his signature practice swing, he defied all baseball norms and performed at a level that left his routines unquestioned. By the end of the regular season, Ichiro had led the league in batting average, hits, and stolen bases, becoming just the second player in history to win both Rookie of the Year and MVP in the same season. Amazingly, his rookie seasons in Japan and Seattle both resulted in historical, record-setting seasons where he was crowned as the best player in the league. Ichiro was a unique player that left an undeniable mark on the league, and his legacy is one that has yet to be matched. He brought a new style of play to the game, and left fans in awe with his incredible skills and dedication to his craft. His remarkable performance in two countries propelled him to international stardom. His accomplishments in the MLB transformed the way Major League teams viewed Japanese baseball players, and he paved the way for future stars like Hideki Matsui, the most valuable player of the 2009 World Series, and of course Shohei Otani, the American League's most valuable player in 2021, and arguably the best player in baseball. Ichiro's election to the Hall of Fame is inevitable, and his impact on the game will be recognized for years to come. Thanks for watching Baseball Pantheon.